video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes, and powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode in FIFA 16. And today, we're basically going to continue on with the ridiculous amount of games that we now have in the season now that we are out of the transfer window. We have the start of a brand new competition, of course, the Champions League. We're finally going to get that underway with Spartak Moscow and Ajax. I don't know if we'll play Ajax in this episode, but still, that's another game that we've got to play. We're also going to continue on in the Capital One Cup and then hopefully get on to a little bit of a better start in the Premier League. We have not done too well. As you can see from the table, after four games, we only have four points and we're the defending Premier League champions. So that's not a good start. We don't want to be doing a Chelsea. And to try to make sure that we don't do a Chelsea, we went and got three amazingly good players right at the end of the transfer window in deadline day. We ended up getting Antoine Griezmann. Yes, I'm sorry I was saying it wrong the whole time, calling him Anthony. But yes, Antoine Griezmann, we got him. We've got Ross Barkley, 85 rated as well, who I believe has gone up a rating since we bought him as well. I'm pretty confident he was 84 when we got him. And we also have this man, a little bit of a glitch player. So interesting to see what he's going to be like. A six foot two, big center defense midfielder, Carlos Asquez. I am very interested to see how Carlos Asquez is going to go because obviously Antoine Griezmann, we know he's going to be great. Ross Barkley, we know he's going to be great. But Carlos Asquez, being that glitched player, I don't know. You never know what you're really going to get with these sort of glitch players. He's only a low to high 60 overall, and he's got around about a 70 potential. I'm very interested to see how Carlos Asquez is going to go, because obviously, we know Antoine Griezmann's going to be great, we know Ross Barkley's going to be great, but with these glitch players, you never really know what you're going to get. Asquez is only a high 60s overall player with around a mid 70s potential. Definitely not a high 80s potential. So we're going to see how he looks. Carlos Asquez, he's got all the stats on paper that would make me think he should be brilliant. But the time to find that out is right now. That's the team that we're going with. Here we go. Watford looked like this, a 4-4-2 formation with the two center defensive midfielders instead of center mids. And they've still got Igalo and Dini. But look at this madness, 67 million for Ross Barkley, 65 million for Antoine Griezmann, and then you've got 45 million for Carlos Asquez, who's technically the highest rated player anyway, and probably the more expensive player, but either way, that is the sort of team that we've been able to build. Insane players and an insane team, and let's go. Which one of those three insane plays is going to be the real standout so far? Immediately, Lachelle's gets us off to a fucking shit start. Good tackle by Jetro Williams, and we're on. And we're sending away Iose Perez, not very well though. Decent move. Perez, still going. In the middle. Oh, Ross Barkley takes a poor touch, but he still finishes it anyway with a good shot. He took the touch straight into the defender, but we still got the goal. Ross Barkley with an immediate impact. Good little manoeuvre from Perez. He saw the run of Bar uh, Barkley. Can't believe he didn't get tapped there, but the finish is so good the keeper can't get there in time. Oh my god, an intercept already. Ayoza Perez, go for the run. Antoine Griezmann, cut back in for Perez. He gets a shot off. Oh, nearly two. Oh, I can't fucking believe it. I pissed away the early lead. I went to cross it over Igalo to get to my centre back. I didn't put enough on it and it's intercepted. It just didn't go high enough. And it just, look, I'm obviously trying to get this to, to, oh my God. I've been considering changing my fucking camera angles for a while because I just don't get the depth perception. It's way too close to the ground, but fucking hell. I thought for sure I put enough on that, but no, we've just completely just put, we butchered this early lead in the dumbest way possible. Yeah, through the middle. Bangs, not great. Our oh, Aaron's does well. Goes in hard with the challenge. In the middle there is Perez. Perez take the shot on. Great way to take a fucking... Oh, just got to control that better. Oh, dear. Is that a bad tackle? It can't be a red. It's... Oh, my God. Are you mad? Oh, come on. That was not that bad. I didn't think that was that bad. Barkley's just going to have to go in for an early bath now, I reckon. That's unbelievable. I did not think that that... I didn't think that that challenge was that bad. Good touches by Perez. Out wider again. Aaron's. Can we get it back in for Perez, who runs forward? What is that touch? What is that touch? Why would you spin around? Why do you... Why would you do that? I'm literally just running with players. That's the best way for me to get space at the moment. Is he onside? I don't think so. He can't even turn to get the shot off. I think he might have been onside. There's no foul. There's no flag. Good work, Hydara. Excellent. Sissoko. Hydara. Keep the roof. Keep it moving. Hydara. All the space is there. Can you take the pop? Took a little bit too long. As soon as I went to go pull the trigger, they got a guy in front. 
Oh, we scored our goal so easily and so, so early. We gave it away so stupidly, and now time's going to run out. Oh, it's going to run out. We just They're just refusing to make any errors with their passing. We just could not get a second chance. We couldn't get another quality chance like we did right at the start of the game. And then we gave it away so cheaply and so easily. So, oh, we just keep dropping points in the worst way possible. We're five Premier League games now with five points. This is going terribly. I was in absolute 100% control of that game right for the first 10 minutes. Do one dumb thing, they get a goal back, and the whole game just changes. You know, to be honest, I probably almost actually got the weight about right. The only thing is, it just doesn't get off the fucking ground for these supposed crosses and lobbed passes. They just don't get six foot off the ground, and they can be picked off by strikers. It's insane. Well, now we move out of the Premier League again, which seems to be just a fucking curse for me right now. I just can't do well in the Premier League. I've had one win in the Premier League, and that was the first game against Arsenal that we won 2-1, 3-1, whatever the result was. But now, we go back into another competition, the Champions League, a brand new competition. We start against Spartak Moscow in our group stage, and oh my god, I need to get off on a good start. Because there's no way I can be struggling in the Premier League and the Champions League simultaneously. This just can't happen. We need to start getting off on a right foot. Let's go. Now look at the Spartak Moscow side. I'm looking at their names. I'm looking at their plays. I've got Quincy Promise. I've got a centre-back that now plays for... Uh, Bayern Munich in real life. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of quality plays, and that is a fact. And then, of course, our team, and that's almost the strongest side that we have. God damn it, let's get off on the right foot. That last game was just, like, typical of our season so far. Start so well, and ever since, it's been really disappointing. We need to have a solid game, a solid 90 minutes. There we go. All that space, all that space on that side. We'll take it. Suzuka, a little fake shot. He's going to go all the way. He's passed. That's a bloody fucking dirty tactic, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. We at least have a free kick in a decent area. Or could I get Musa Suzoko? Reliable. I'm going to take Musa Suzoko for this one. We're going to get this just inside the post. Good amount of power, I reckon, if it's over the wall, it's in. It's over the wall. It's saved! Maybe I should have gone just a little bit outside the post. I, I want it to be safe, and in the end, it's fucking cost us. They're just running around us. Why can't we do this? We can't run past a fucking defense, but they can. And they whip in an, just a nothing cross. Comes to nothing. Blocked by Walker. They've still got this ball. Can we take it off? No, we can't. The lane's there. Ball's there. Finishes there. Saves there. It's in the net. 1-0. All right. So we just can never, ever take the ball off of this legendary difficulty. Fucking team. Come on. Come on. It's all lined up for us. It is lined up for us. We've got to score. We have to. Suzuko saved again, this keeper. Their defense, even when it looks like we are so, so going to score, they are all over him. Should be going the whole way. He's going for a run. That's insane. Kyle Walker now. Slide tackle. Miss. We are running out of time. If we're going to score, 45th minute. It's got to happen now. They just have three plays in the way, but Kyle Walker takes it off him. Has a shot. It was a fair effort, but again, it's wide. Unreal. And the second half begins. We get it kicked off. We are losing. This freaking... Jesus Christ, I didn't even pass to fucking Suzuka. We are still losing this first Champions League game at the moment. Can we turn it around? Come on. Griezmann, nice sharp turns. Barkley, make that run. Oh, there it is. Charlie Austin, easily done. There we go. Cool, calm finish from Charlie Austin. He always pops up. We have guys like Antoine Griezmann, Iose Perez, and fucking Sadu Dumbia. But this man, Charlie Austin, is the guy that always pops up and scores our goals. It is miraculous. It really is crazy. I just can't take him out of the team. Nice. Very nice indeed. Antoine Griezmann, it's a good move. He got fouled. Still going past. No, I tried to take him on, and he tackled me. I did not pass it off. I thought it would have been intercepted. Tried to go around him. Didn't matter in the end. Tackled by Mangala. Can't get the ball. Watch. Oh, God. Just like that. And they've got it. They've got it. Unreal. The ball went th straight through the fucking middle of our defense. He made the save. But you know it sat right fucking perfectly for the guy that just took the shot. Look at this. They've picked up a second. We try to defend, but that cutting ball right through the middle. That and the fact that they're fucking rebounds. Keeps going right back to them. Incredible. Pass. Austin. Still nothing. Still going back. I was trying to fucking not pass into Aaron's there. God damn it. No! What is with them? No! No! I'm over some of the passes in this game. The fucking selection is ridiculous. No way. Twice in a row there. I think it fucked up the pass and it didn't go to the guy I wanted to get it to. And in the end, it gave up possession. And that was that. That was the end of our chance. Oh, the dumbest shit happens in this fucking game, FIFA 16. This feels like... Oh, this feels worse than before the patch. 
what the hell has happened? I've been playing better with a worse team. We've got the best team that we've ever had, and all of a sudden, I can't win games anymore. What the fuck's going on? No idea. I just, oh, wow, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost for words right now. I'm in a funk or, or something, or maybe I'm just going through that phase in career mode where you just can't seem to win games. They happen, and I'm so fucking in it right now. I don't think I can play this next game. I just, I just can't do it. I cannot do it. I obviously, I sim a game here and there per episode, but I just can't do it. I really think I've got to sim this game. It's the home game. I'll do it because we need the fucking results. And it feels like at the moment, the only way I'm getting them is through simming matches. So we're going to do it against Middlesbrough. It's at home against a weaker Premier League opponent, but the way that things are going, the way that, com the way the career mode is just compiling the misery, I feel like we won't actually win this game. Hell, we could even lose it. No, we won't. It's a 4-1 win. But, of course, in simmed games, you always have to pick up one injury. It always happens. And it's only happened to Antoine Griezmann. Is he out for long? Please, for the love of God, don't be. Antoine Griezmann is out for two months with an MCL. You can't sim a game and not get injured. All the fucking time. Even if it's the other team. There's got to be one injury. Every simulated game. Can't catch a break. Just cannot catch a break. We just bought Antoine Griezmann and he's already injured. Welcome to the club, Antoine Griezmann, and out you fucking go immediately with injury. It's bullshit. I'll be honest as well, I'm probably going to sim this game against Burton Albion or whoever they are again, because it's Capital One Cup. Don't really care too much for that competition at the moment when I am trying to focus on Champions League, on Premier League, but it seems whatever I am focusing on, I'm doing worse at. So I'm going to sim this game. We're probably going to get through, considering the team, considering it's a home, but you never know. I can't get a positive without getting a negative right now. I win a game through a sim match, I lose a star player to injury. What happens now? 2-0, win, we move on, no injuries, got a couple of yellow cards, that's fine though, no injuries. Alright, yes. For the first time in this episode, I can actually take a positive out of that. There we go. Fine. We have a win, and we're still going in the Capital One Cup. This is going to be the final game that we play. Another away game, going to be against Crystal Palace in the Premier League. We are 10th at the moment, 6 points from, uh, yeah, what, what am I trying to say? 6 games, 8 points, and god damn it do we need a fucking result fast. We started this episode with a draw, then a loss, then two wins. Both of the two wins only coming from sim games. I need to be able to walk away from this episode and say, yep, I had a good game in that one game, at least that one game, and was able to get the three points. I need that game to be against Crystal Palace desperately. We've got to get this game. Marco Inatovic is the one that's standing up for Newcastle, which is weird because he's injured, as is, of course, Antoine Griezmann, which means we've had to rotate the team a bit. That's what we're going with. And oh my goodness me, if I don't get this win, if I don't play well, if I don't have a good game, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. And the set, in the next episode, I don't know what's going to happen, but at some point, it's going to turn around for us. I need it to happen whenever it can, right now, hopefully. Let's go. The Crystal Palace team, it's a bit interesting. They've got a, a, a very unrecognizable defense playing the 4-2-3-1 formation. Connor Wickham up front. Julian Speroni, their goalkeeper, apparently suiting up in... A, apparently, he's going to play in the outfield for this game. Whatever you say, EA Sports. But here we go. Final game of the episode underway. Oh, we might have started this brilliantly. Maybe. Dubia. Say no, Dubia! 1-0, 2 minutes in. Unbelievable start. Oh, that started with a Charlie Austin tackle, and we just went right through the middle of them, and a finish that I didn't think was that great, but he's kept it relatively low, especially for FIFA 16, and it's just snuck under the keeper, or maybe just got past him. It's a good strike, and it's 1-0. We started the very first game in this episode like this, where we scored super early, and then conceded stupidly, and then went on to draw 1-1. Now let's at least, please, keep on the gas. Let's maybe get a second. Oh, that is beautiful from Asquez. Holds it up well. It's a decent pass. Through the middle again. This could be two for Dumbia. It won't be two for Dumbia because he takes it with his left foot instead of his right. Just place it in the corner. That's all you've got to do. That's all I wanted you to do. He took a pretty heavy touch in the end as well, which sort of he fucking ruined it, unfortunately. But it's a good cross. Oh, don't tell me that was a save. No, it's come off the post. Oh, Asquez. Evades well. There's a gap up the middle now. Is it a good ball? I think it is. Aaron's, he's not been able to get away. Is that a free kick? No, it isn't. Apparently it isn't. He's just going to the ground. Zaha stuck to him like glue. I really hope we don't have too many up. They go up the other end and then score. That'd be a nightmare. Or we could just get our second. Or we could just hold it. Suzuko. Take him on. Fuck, Suzuko? You went nowhere. You were stiff as fuck. That was unreal. Please get this ball off him. Just do. 
He's going to go the whole damn way just because you can't get in. Oh my god, no. He's gone the whole damn way. Sissoko couldn't make the tackle. He couldn't block the cross. Punched away by Butlin. And taken down by Armstrong. Thank fuck, Sissoko. You nearly lost us the game. How can't you just get the inside shoulder? They just never do. You allowed him to run the whole damn way, Sissoko. Fuck's sake. All right, then. We have our win. 1-0. We end it. We got that goal right when we can. We do not get as many opportunities as we do back in the day. So we just have to take them when we can. We got that super early chance, and Dumbia finished it and won us the game. That's all it took. Sato Dumbia may have been the game winner, but Carlos Asquez was fucking immense. He's incredible. He is the guy that I haven't really been missing, but oh my god, is it so good to have him. Just this big, tall, six foot two, strong center defense midfielder, patrolling just ahead of the back four and winning almost every single aerial battle. Like the keeper just gets a goal kick, kicks it up, Asquez heads it right down, and we're straight away on another counter attack. It's glorious to work with. So far, Ross Barkley's been pretty good, Asquez has been amazing, and then of course, course there's been Griezmann who's been injured straight away and he was good in the first couple of games that we got to play with him but of course he has to go and get fucking injured but so far it's been good signs from the three players that we've got we've just got a little bit more player training to do and we've got uh, Mbemba going up by a bit we've got Tanzan going up by a bit as well another player's come back from injury as well Marco Ainatovic so that's another positive to be fair the end of this episode's going quite well we've been able to win three in a row regardless of two of them being sim games we were able to win a game ourselves and then, of course, we're starting to get some players back from injury. But as I've said before, guys, the next game is going to be against Ajax at St. James Park. Finally, Champions League football returning to St. James Park. It's going to be absolutely glorious. But until then, guys, my name's Mars Bucks. Thank you so much for watching another episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the TMB merchandise store if you want. The link is down below. And until then, my name's Mars Bucks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.